One state lawmaker wants to axe the power to tax for a group who promotes Monroe's South Side. Is it about principle or prejudice? NBC 10's Bria Jones talks to the director of the South Side Economic Development District and to the state rep in question. Good evening, Bria. Well, good evening, Gordon. State Representative Jay Morris filed a bill this week to stop the SCDD from levying any future taxes. I sat down with the district's executive director, Charles Theis, who says he's not worried but feels the group is being targeted. The Southside Economic Development District once again in the hot seat. District 14 Representative Jay Morris filing a bill to stop the group from creating any new taxes. They want to tax. The, all these businesses that are in that group and they want them to collect sales tax taxes from uh, a lot of times from our most vulnerable citizens. Back in 2017, says 2% 2 hotel occupancy tax passed. This year, the group was hoping to implement a little over a half a penny sales tax within the district. Said Executive Director Charles Theus says the bill isn't fair. It's just disingenuous. Uh, at best, and I, I just, I don't give it a whole lot of credibility. They just don't want us as the minorities in this district to be in charge of any money or any funds. He says said wants to bring opportunity to the South Side, unlike those opposing the new tax. I haven't seen Jay Morris. I haven't seen Sue Nicholson cross over Louisville, and Eccles, like I said, he did a, um, I guess the only thing I can see is a safari tour. Morris agrees there should be growth on the south side, but says without direction, it will only hurt businesses. It puts them at a competitive disadvantage to other businesses simply across the street. Uh, and and there's no clear purpose for the tax. Something Theus says isn't true. People who want milk for a half cent, if it costs a uh, a do, uh, two dollars, they're not going to go for a penny burn 30 cents worth of gas. Representative Morris says the bill allows for the current hotel occupancy tax to be grandfathered. However, all new taxes would have to come through the city. Thea says if need be, he does plan to take legal action. In the studio, Bria Jones, NBC 10, your local news leader.